Hello there, I'm Dan Owens Cooper and this is Mentality Tips. So today on Mentality Tips we're going to be talking about assertive communication and if you're the sort of person who thinks assertive communication is not for me, you're probably the person who needs to hear this the most because assertive communication is for everyone. Assertive communication is not bullshit or controlling or domineering. Assertive communication is clear, direct, factual, does not violate the rights of those involved and actually gives us the best chance of getting our needs met in relationships. So here are my three mentalities today for assertive communication. Firstly, state the facts. Don't use words like never, always, every time. They just invite a defensive response and the message could be lost. So instead of saying, you never message me back, you might say something like, I messaged you yesterday and I didn't get a response. That is the factual version. It's difficult to argue with if it's the truth. Secondly, try and frame things in terms of how you feel rather than what the person did or didn't do. So instead of saying, you didn't message me back, say, when I didn't get a message back, I felt disappointed or I felt let down. And bonus mentality, back it up by saying why you felt that way. I felt let down because I really value our friendship and I feel a little neglected when I don't get a reply. Very difficult to argue with, unlikely to get a defensive response. Thirdly, where possible, make a request for something positive. This means a suggestion framed in something like, would you be prepared to try and text me back a little more often, rather than would you be prepared to stop ignoring me? Gets a completely different response. The former is much more likely to be heard, respected and met. So that's three tips today for assertive communication here on Mentality Tips. I've been Dan Owens Cooper and this has been Mentality Tips.